of stealing? No, no, has she, she has not. Has she been charged with stealing? No, not as, no. Okay, not it's just your suspicion that she stole. Right. That's not proof. Your in a Honor, criminal, listen to me, mm. in a criminal case, it's proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Proof of such a high caliber that a jury would convict without hesitation. Okay? I haven't heard that with this camera. Okay, can what's I your next? What's your next okay. item? It was a digital camera. No, oh, wait, let me ask her. Mm -hmm. Did you take the camera? No, I did not. Of course she's going to say no. When Judge Karen returns... We're down to that last laptop. It was right by her desk. Okay, and I never saw that laptop she claimed you didn't she had. You did steal that laptop? I saw it. It was in a bag right there by her desk. You sure you didn't take this stuff because she was owing you money? And in our next case, her father gave her this computer before he died. Now, her brother has it, and it's tearing them apart. Why would you deprive your sister of something that means something to her? Dad bought it for your sister. Samantha Campbell is suing her former daycare employer for weeks of pay. Susan Samuel claims Samantha stole a camera and two computers from her, so she had every right to withhold her pay. What's your next item that was missing? It was two laptops, actually. Okay. And I didn't discover... First laptop. The first laptop... I did this. Ma'am, I don't need to see all this documentation. Oh, okay. Talk to me. There was a laptop. Yes. Go on. I asked, I was in the hospital. I was hospitalized and I requested for my laptop. When I requested for the laptop to be brought to me in the hospital, I was told that it was not there. Okay. By whom? Um, by my son. Second time your son is involved. Right. You told me it was not there. Okay. How old is he? 11. Okay. Then I said, what do you mean it's not there? Okay, but... Do you have any evidence that this lady took your laptop? Any evidence? No, I don't have any evidence. I'm going to scratch off that suspicion. laptop. Now we're down. Suspicion is not enough, ma'am. A lot of people would be serving time in prison if it was just suspicion. Okay, but that's not enough. Third item, we're down to that last laptop. It was right by her desk. Okay, and I never saw that laptop she claimed she had. You didn't steal that laptop? Never saw it. it was in a bag right there by her desk. You didn't see it in the bag by your desk? The bag that were by my desk that she's talking of is for the laptop that first went missing. And it I said to her, Miss Samuel, your laptop is not in your bag. When we had to clean and rearrange the office, I said we bought crates. So she said, you, you know, rearrange it. You sure you didn't take this it. stuff because I she didn't was take... owing your money? No. Maybe somebody else that quit could have taken it? Yes. Okay, the problem is... Probably doing it. Maybe she doing she did it. Uh, more likely than not, she did it. It's insufficient. These are all your suspicions that she did it. Can I finish, Your Honor? Yes. Okay. We have cameras. You did so. You have but, her on film. No, this is what I did. Right. We have cameras in the center. Okay. Inside the classroom and outside. Okay. Did you check those cameras? Listen to it. Did, no, you listen no, to me. No, I did not. Why didn't you check the Your cameras? Your Honor, could I finish? Why didn't you check because the cameras? Because the cameras are not in the office. They're in the classroom. But this is what I did. I said to her, the morning she came on the 28th, I said, Samantha, I caught that's a great news. ADT said that we can rig the cameras to see who stole the merchandise. Isn't that great? She said, oh, yeah, really? She came into work as usual, did a job. I went out to do the food shopping. By the time I got back, this was taped to the chair. She felt that she was caught, and that's why she left so early before I got there back to the center. I don't see, I don't see it that way. I don't see it that way. I go, week number one, I didn't get paid. Week number two, I didn't get paid. Week number three, my mortgage is due, I didn't get paid. Week number four, I haven't paid my car. No, week number five, I haven't paid my credit card bills. Week number six, I can't even buy groceries. Your whole position has been, I don't owe her because she stole from me. That's right. Okay, now we have thrown that all out the window, so you owe her. You owe her. And you're going to pay her because you owe her. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,650. Good luck to you.
And now, our next case. My name is Mandy and I'm from Virginia. Judge Karen, I have a question for you. I have a live-in nanny for the first time and I want to check up on her and make sure my baby's safe. Can I legally install a hidden camera in my house? That's an important question, Mandy. Some states differ, but generally you can install cameras in your own home. Because your nanny lives there, she does have some expectation of privacy, such as in her bedroom or in her bathroom. But in areas where she cares for your child, you have a right to install cameras to monitor your child's safety. I would suggest that you install a camera for a limited time. And then, if you still don't trust her, you probably don't have the right nanny, and you should find someone new. You're sitting on the couch.